highlights of the race, and there were many. You see that pop start by Russia, so Pavel Kolodzev slow off the line, and it gave Nicholas Kreuten for Germany the race lead under attack from Italy and from Israel, and it was these three nations that dominated the race, trading the top three places. We lost Japan on the first lap of the race, that's why we had the safety car. What about Al Nusif? No, he just lost it, didn't he? All on his own, around he went. So the Q80 driver sliding off the circuit, and he had another incident late race as well. Nicholas Croyton for Germany, under attack, being able to defend, but never being able to get away, as Italy and Israel argued over second place. Ida Cohen for Israel, and Andrea Rosso for Italy, as one. Their damage for Al Nusif for Q8, he had to pit to sort out the wing, so a whole new front section going on the car. But in the end, he was retirement to the pit lane. Try as he might, Ido Cohen for Israel was never quite able to make that move around the outside and make it stick. It meant that Croyton for Germany hang on to the advantage. Then Italy got into second place and Andrea Rosso made his move round the outside. He had a go in the pass at turn seven and there, being forced out wide. Others in strife, including Andusif once more for Q8. But when Italy finally made the move, it involved the curb, yes, but this time Rosso was going to stand his ground. Wheel to wheel, they ran up towards turn eight. Through he went on the inside line, and Andrea Rosso was able to stay ahead to beat Israel and Germany. Our first race at the FIA Motorsport Games goes the way of Andrea Rosso. It's a win for Italy.